Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Glad to have you with us. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's the Boston Celtics going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. And without any further ado, let's head to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew at the arena. I'll be back at halftime. We have an interconference affair lined up for you today as the Boston Celtics come in for this one. Lakers looking to make the most out of their home court advantage here at Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Going to bring you the NBA right here on 2K Sports. And now the opening lineup for Boston, courtesy of State Farm. And for the Lakers. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. He dishes it to Morris. And that one's good. Guys, that time you went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. James outside. Off target with his three. On defense, the Lakers. Number 36. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. The Celtics shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Well, how about last season they shot 80% as a team from the free throw line. That's an impressive number. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. To the paint, here's James. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation, and that helped them get right to the rim. Irving with it. Warford guarded by McGee. Shoots from 12. Buries the jump shot. Horford's got his first basket. And the Lakers with possession here. Four-point game. Here's James. The shot's good from McGee. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop. Very skilled finisher. 146 left in the first quarter. Here's Irving. Cannot hit. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. Here's James. Nice shot from 10 feet out. James has got his second basket of the game. But he's got the special ability, Kevin, to make shots while being heavily guarded. And I don't know how he does it, but he figures out a way to get the ball in the basket, even under pressure. And, you know, he's got another skill that you love to see in a player. The ability to create a high-quality shot for himself off the dribble. And let's get this update now from Doris Brookers across the way on the sideline. But Kevin, here's what the Celtics head coach had to say when we spoke just a few minutes ago. He said they'll have to do a good job moving their feet on the defensive end or they'll get dunked on all night. He told me that they are very aware of the slashers and finishers they're facing and will try to turn them into jump shooters. Let's see how successful they are, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Now, here is Irving. Five to shoot. Fades and shoots. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Both teams deciding to change it up. Lakers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Here is Chandler. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Celtics have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. The dish to Hayward. Sixteen feet away. Can't hit. Here's Rondo. Can't get it to go. And that concludes a high-scoring first quarter with both teams tied up. After this break, we'll be back with the... And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. 
And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, Clark and Steve, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys, and I think that was the difference in that first quarter, really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset, their tenacity, and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the Lakers. James. That is good. James has got 10 points. You know, he's given them a nice scoring option through most of this game. To the middle. Here's Brown. And that is good. Yeah, they're not going to miss too many of those. That's high percentage stuff there. And here's the Lakers. Here's James. Swims it on the run. No way to mess that one up, Kevin. I mean, he powered it down with both hands. Not this guy. He is a superb finisher. Yeah, he is an absolute force when he gets near the hoop. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Number 12. He's covered by Rondo. Number 12. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, what's great about him, guys, is that even with the smallest amount of space, he can rise up and just bury the jump shot from long range. And you can't forget, this guy is always on the prowl defensively, looking to pick you off if you get too casual and loose with the ball. He kind of gets in your head that way. Inside and stolen by Horford. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. The 11-footer, Boston. No good that time either. Lakers have gone a nice 3-3 three three to start the second. Here's James. Rebounded by the Celtics. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Finishes the break with a slam. Ammonia strong finish right there, partner. <laughs> you hear me? That was ammonia strong. Yeah, ripped it down with two hands. That's about as high percentage as you can get. You know, the Lakers didn't really have the bite on defense they once had last season, Kevin. It showed up in their inability to create turnovers. They were at the bottom of the league in terms of steal. That's where he's been doing damage. Again and again, he keeps taking it inside and handling this business. Yeah, Clark, the Lakers dead last in steals, as you said. Below, uh, you know, a lot of teams that had a lot more trouble playing defense, like the Raptors and Bobcats. But I didn't sense the Lakers were jumping into passing lanes. They kind of set back in their defense and we're trying to pack it in. Yeah, well, that's uh, playing to your personnel. When you've got two seven-footers at the rim, and you don't want those guys to get in foul trouble. Uh, so you really want to funnel players into the lane and, and to the baseline uh, to have to shoot over the top of those guys. You don't want to be out in the passing lane taking all kinds of risks. The feed to Hayward to the inside. Number 27, power down with both hands. And not much resistance on that jam. Yeah, defensively, you're right. Not a great sequence. Well, they lost track of them, and they paid the price. The Lakers trail. Stolen. Brown right side. With the lead pass. Rondo with the rebound. Boy, I tell you what, guys. He's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Here's James, and it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Down low, number 37 gets it to go. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm him, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the game. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. And the technical free throw is good. Number Eight seconds left in the first half of basketball. Rondo's shot is good. Nice play there on the inbounds. The defense really lost contact. From deep three-point range, and that one's good, Irving. Irving's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Celtics lead by three. And now, brought to you by Sprint. 
Halftime at Staples Center. In a close one. Welcome, everyone. I'm Damon Bruce. Boston leading against the Lakers. They benefited from some excellent contribution from their bench, providing scoring in bunches when called upon. It's been a major advantage. We have a first ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Celtics. Here's James, and that one's good. James has got his team on the board first here in the second half for the Lakers. Outside Irving. Horford sets a screen for Irving. Lets it go from the wing. Gets it to go. Irving's got five points so far. Not much resistance for him after that pick, Kevin. I mean, he had all sorts of space to hit the shot. Lakers trail by three, and Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, the youngest rookie in the 2012 class. But despite his age, he's seen as a winner and a natural leader. He certainly took on that role as a freshman last season in leading Kentucky to a national title. MKG said, I just want to win the game. And whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. I'm ready to lead. I've always been that way. Kevin, what a steal. Yeah, an NBA body from day one. Thank you, Doris. And guys, on this team, that leadership of his is certain to help. I mean, I think he's the perfect fit. The Celtics shooting so well, 63% the offense working as one cohesive unit. And a miss there on the triple. Lakers have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. They double him with Irving. James. And again, no good by the Lakers. A very rough quarter for him as not much is falling right now. That's a blocking foul, and he'll shoot free throws. The Celtics shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. You know, Kevin, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. So both teams making some changes here. And he makes both free throws. He's one of the best free throw shooters in the league. In this game, no different. He's making each trip to the line count. Here's Ball. From outside, off the mark. Celtics leading by three. Takes the 13-footer. No good. He hasn't been one of their key guys tonight, but uh, they are still winning despite his lack of production. Pull up Jay. Chandler, no good. The Celtics have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. I like that foul. You don't want to give up an easy two in transition. No, you don't want to give up the layup, make him earn them from the stripe, and maybe you get a break and he makes only one of the free throws and misses them both. Celtics have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. And you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers helped them win games. And Morris drops them both. Lakers trail by five. Outside Rondo. No good from outside. Rondo's gone one of three shooting so far. Number 12. Can't get it to go. They play the clock right, Steve. They can go two for one. Yeah, just have to time it right. Make sure you work the clock correctly and get two possessions out of it. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. Feeds it to Morris. The Lakers with the rebound. Yeah, trying to put a little mustard on the hot dog here. That, that was just convert the shot. Come on. Another open look hits bottom from outside. Yeah, and that's three of their last five makes from beyond the arc. Number 12. He's covered by Rondo. Four seconds left. That drops. For three. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. The Celtics, Celtics. 33. Welcome back. It's time for the fourth quarter, and time to check in with the fourth member of our team, Doris Burke, to find out who had the Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? And Kevin, for that great stretch the Celtics put together, they get the Uncontainable Game Award. They had a defense that simply couldn't be solved, and it was all that they needed in order to build a lead. That effort will be
only need it for one more period if they want to get the win. Okay, Doris, thanks. That scoring run, guys, was pretty key in this game so far, don't you think? Yeah, very much so, Kevin. I mean, that was like a runaway train there for a while. No stopping them. Now, that really blew the game open. Well, you bet it did. I mean, when you've got one team in such terrific offensive rhythm and the other guys on their back feet, tentative, hesitant, it almost always leads to runs like that. And for Boston, Boston Trail. Kicks it to Horford. James covering. Horford in the post. Can't cash in from close range. Now here's James. D right arm. Buries it down low. James has got five points now in the quarter. What a game. This is really fun to watch. And when games are tight like this, I mean, success or failure can really turn on small details in one or two plays. Terrible defense for both teams. Just atrocious. Yeah, it's been awful, Steve. I don't know any other way to say it, and I'm sure both teams will get an earful from their coaches. One-on-one -on -one here. Number 36. Champs it straight down. Both of these teams have really stepped it up offensively. You know what, Steve? They haven't missed a chance, and I think both teams really know what's at stake on every possession here. Here's James, and the shot is good. James has got 25 points in the game. Well, he's smart. He's getting good shots, and he's knocking them down. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by two. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics, had some instruction for his guys during that break. With the game still up for grabs, he simply told his guys, we're right there. Stay focused, execute, and get it done. Kevin, let's see how it plays out. And thanks for that story, Doris. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Rebounded by the Celtics. Horford's got three rebounds so far in the game. No one near it. And it's Boston with another. And this team really dialed in from that mid-range area. Seems like every hoop they get, Steve, is a step or two in from the three-point line. I mean, you got to take what the other team is giving you, and they're certainly doing that. I think it's as simple as this, guys. Get him the ball. That's all you need to do. Give it to him. He had a nice open look right there. And the Celtics lead by one. Great matchup here. This game has gone back and forth. Multiple lead changes. Just a great game, guys. Pushing it up. Zero. And he drew the blocking foul. We'll go to the line for two. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. Wow, what a turnaround from the line this had. Not one foul shot missed yet. Well, when you have the lead and you're trying to close out games, you've got to make free throws, and that's exactly what they're doing. Well, he didn't waste those opportunities, and that's just what they needed with the game this close. The Celtics have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Dishes to Irving. Inside. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. So that means they've got to be very careful with the basketball right now. Here's James. Not really his range, and it's off target. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Clark, they'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ingram. The three won't fall. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management is crucial. The Lakers making a switch here. And he does get the second one. And that gives them a four-point cushion. And the Lakers call time here. They're behind by four. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's James. Good. 
And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And the damage they're doing from three point range here in the second half is amazing. Yeah, I mean, they're always a threat to spray home some threes now, but not like this. And so it's Boston scraping by with the win. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight ones. For Clark.